Oh, <clears throat> I heard some sort of rumor that Emancipation will be Will Smith's first ever major film since Oscar Slap. It will come out in December. But I noticed that the new Emancipation movie is quite very interesting of how I could see. <coughs> but if, speaking of my coughing, my biggest complaint about this movie is that I know this movie is quite interesting because after this Slapgate thing, I haven't done a review about something related to the Slapgate. Mainly, it just came out this month, like October 1st. But, however, I have to review Osmosis Jones right now. Because Will Smith was involved in it, but he was stepped out. Now, here's the plot. When a white blood cell in Aussie teens up with a cold pill to protect his unhealthy human being from a deadly virus. However, the deadly virus that came from a simian egg is revealed to himself to be Frax, who is plotting to kill anyone that he touches throughout their deaths. However, the only way they could save it is that they have to find a way to pretty much beat the shit out of Frax's master plan. Despite the combining efforts of both, you know, cells at work meets rush hour sort of idea, I know this movie isn't like Inside Out, but the 2D animation that I saw in this movie, it's just interesting of how I saw. I know I saw this movie. It looks extremely awesome at the Inside Out. I always think Inside Out is a piece of shit in my opinion. But I know the animation predates Spider-Verse by a long shot. But there's one thing about the songs. I like the St. Lunatic songs because they're awesome as hell. And the soundtrack is pretty awesome for me to handle it. But even for a movie that came out in 2001 that predates Slapgate by a long shot, I could also explain that Ozzy is like a modernized love child to the genie from Aladdin. And Drix is basically the Flash meets Mega Man sort of pill. They team up to be like a buddy cop duo. That they that this movie is better than Zootopia, in my opinion. Yeah, that makes it so awesome because I love the awesome songs. And I mean this movie is awesome. But I might give this movie a 7 out of 10. Because of the bad qualities involving around a human falling sick from a simian egg. But I have a double review to think of. I know there's another one I'm thinking of called Madagascar, the movie, which also stars Chris Rock from 2005. As I know, the plot of Madagascar is simple. It involves a group of animals from the Central Park Zoo being stranded on the island of Madagascar. All for the being Alex, Marty, Melman and Gloria. Although, the casting is quite awesome, but the bad quality is that before we had Slapgate, this was based on an unproduced uh, animated movie from 1908. I know there's something unproduced about what I really would have seen in DreamWorks. Like, there's something interesting of how I, I would have seen. According to the unproduced uh, uh, 1998 Madagascar script, the Penguins were going to be like a Beatles-esque rock band. I know that Eric Darnell would turn them into a commander unit rather than a rock band. For some reason, this unused 1998 Madagascar script looked a bit very different to what I would have seen it. It would have been based on A Hard Day's Night, but <clears throat> despite the script, the idea of Penguins being washed up to an island in Madagascar, they want to host a rock concert in Madagascar. <clears throat> As I noticed, the plot is very interesting because what I noticed in the unproduced 1998 script, it looks very different to the final product. Now, what I've learned from the unmade 1998 uh, movie 
it's quite interesting that out of all the DreamWorks projects that never came to be, this was by far very interesting. That I know it came from the droid board, so let's read it. As the film story unfolds, Alex, Marty, Melman, Gloria, Skipper, Private, Rico Kowalski are on a ship crossing the Atlantic. Along the way, there is risk being shipped to Africa and they strongly wish to return to Africa for a rock concert. This caused everyone to be sunk into the island of the use of a sandstorm. I mean a sea storm. So, but the penguin stage are revolt by taking over the ship and booting the heroes to, into the salty sea in an excitement idea of what the, it could have looked like. At one point, the, the idea of the penguins, they want to go to somewhere like you could have imagined. If they were here for a concert in New York City, that would have been very awesome. But after this script got canned in favor of, you know, doing another DreamWorks musical movie, which could eventually be Shrek 2, I'm guessing Shrek 2 was based on the unproduced rockumentary movie. Uh, as I noticed, if the Penguins would have been shipwrecked on Madagascar, they could have hosted a rock concert to the Lemurs. But in the final product, they were never involved on Madagascar. So, the animation of Madagascar, in my opinion, is quite interesting about what the plot was. When the plot thickens itself, it's kind of a milestone movie at its best. As I noticed, even for a movie that came out in 2005, I noticed it's kind of awesome. The characters like the ones that I saw in Osmosis Jones were hilarious for me to handle. As I know that these four met each other and the iconic I Like to Move It song was used in it. And it's so laugh out loud and funny for me to handle a movie like this after Slapgate. But I noticed there's a huge amount of flaws that I can think of about the way Alex's obsession with steak would turn him feral into what I really see in The Lord of the Rings where Gollum turns feral on a ring that he was addicted to. It sounds like they stole this from Lord of the Rings. The one where Gollum, you know that weird looking goblin creature? He would say, my precious, for some reason, over that ring that he's obsessed with. It's kind of ridiculous of how Alex's characterization being similar to Gollum isn't really appropriate for a kid's movie. Yeah, I don't get And after he scares the Fooses away, he realizes that eating sushi was way better than having steak all the time. And he starts to have an addiction towards sushi. And also combining it with steak would be a cool idea. But without doubt, this one gets a 9 out of 10. Because I realised that despite not being a rock oriented musical, it still makes me laugh. So with that out of the way, I just had no idea what I was thinking of. But I know I have to go back to where I started from because my battery's running out. So, without the way, I'm going to say toodaloo.